Okay, beer connoisseurs, put your drinking pants on. Russian River Brewing Company will now be bottling one of the most sought after beers in the world, Pliny the Younger. People come now from everywhere and line up at both of our brew pubs. I think it's totally worth trying if you can get your hands on it. The triple IPA has been brewed seasonally for the last 15 years, and the hoppy sensation has been in high demand ever since. If they were lucky, beer drinkers were able to get a taste every February at select local pubs and restaurants. Now, thanks to Russian River co-owner Natalie Chilerzo, they can take it home. My husband and I decided that we needed to up our game and do something a little extra special this year, and so we decided to put it in the bottle for the very first time. So let's talk beer for a minute. Here are four things you need to know about the coveted Pliny the Younger and its coming release. First of all, where can I snag a bottle? The bottles are strictly for our pubs, so they won't even be for sale in our gift shops. They won't be for distribution. We're not making very many. We plan to run out every day. While the bottles will be sold exclusively at Russian River Brewing Company at their two locations, a handful of Sacramento brew pubs and restaurants will get kegs delivered two weeks after the brewery release. This will be the one, finding the younger. Nick Shvedich of Sacramento Pangea Beer Cafe can't wait. I mean, we're going to get it. You know, we're going to get it. Last year, we got a half barrel, which is 15 gallons approximately. So triple the amount, which is great, but it's still sold out, I think, in about half an hour last year. Okay, but wait, who's Pliny? Pliny the Elder wrote about hops back in um, the first century. His nephew, Pliny the Younger, he uh, was able to chronicle his uncle's life and death, and one of the reasons we know so much about Pliny the Elder is because of Pliny the Younger. There's a little history there. So why the hype? It is just a really, really good trip IPA. I've seeked it out myself. You wait in line a little bit, but you get the full experience once you're in there, and yeah, the beer is totally worth the wait. It's all consumer driven. You know, we've never packaged it before, we've never bottled it, we don't do any marketing with it. So it's really a very interesting uh, phenomenon, if you will. Okay, but how does it taste? It's very balanced, super hoppy in the aroma. A pretty good bitterness on it, piney. It has like citrus, like grapefruit. Very dry still for being a 10 and a quarter percent beer. So I can go get you ladies a taste if you like.